This is part three of my guide to using Jigon for your Liku PCB. So we've gone through the initial setup and updating the firmware, customizing your layout and LED configs. Next, we're going to record some macros. So once again, a link to Pliny's PDF guide is in the description. So setting up macros in Jigon is pretty nifty and you don't even need to have Jigon open to do it. You just make sure that you have a function key set up and a text editor open, as I have here. So let's say I want to trigger my macro when I press the function key and W. So I hold the function key and the W key down for four seconds. And then the, uh, the software tells me that it's ready to record a macro. So then I can type in my macro. So there's my macro recorded and then I press the function key again and it's done. So next time I hit uh, function key and W, And then I get my macro. Hope I didn't make any typos in that. So this is something that I, I, I may have to type a lot and uh, it's a pain to type it out. So now I don't need to. I just, uh, I can just, you know, keep, keep doing it all the time. So I just wanted to add a note that you can type in alt codes as a macro as well, just to demonstrate that. I'll just set up a, a macro here. So if I want to type this, P O K and then I want to have uh, alt 233 M O N function key. And then if I hit my macro key again, let me just get some space here. There's my macro. So it makes typing in things that you might need an alt code for uh, a lot easier too. So that's a really easy way to set up macros. So you can, I think it can hold like 50 or something macros in the, uh, in the software itself, so that's really cool. All right, well, that's, that's it. Thank you very much. And uh, if you have any other questions about Jigon, then please let me know. I don't really know everything about it, and there are some things that um, are a bit mysterious about it. Um, but if you have any other questions, then please let me know. And thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.